I'm very happy that you can make it today. Let's jump right in. Prior to becoming the head of digital marketer, I was an agency owner. I specialized in small businesses that were trying to launch new products or were primarily offline and wanted to get onto the internet. Several times I worked with inventors, incredibly intelligent and passionate individuals who created new products and spent years developing them, decades sometimes. One of them had over a dozen patents and products and absolutely zero dollars in sales. He spent all of his time creating products with very little time thinking about the people who would actually buy them. It's a huge mistake and yet we see it happen all the time. A marketer or business owner gets so focused on what they're selling that they forget to think about who they're selling to. This is the kiss of death for a marketing campaign and sometimes even an entire business. You could have the greatest product on earth, but if you're trying to sell it to the wrong person, you're never going to hit your sales numbers. That's why understanding your customer avatar, otherwise known as the buyer persona, is so important. Before you can sell anything effectively, you need to understand who your ideal customer is, where they're hanging out online, and what their challenges are. But how do you actually do that? First, I wanna make sure you understand why customer avatars are so important, and why we refer to them as the Swiss Army knife of marketing. Digital marketing is composed of a lot of different disciplines. There's content marketing, email marketing, paid traffic, social media, copywriting, analytics, and the list goes on and on. Each of these disciplines has its own unique set of skills to master, but knowing how to identify your customer avatar is one of the few skills that applies to every marketing discipline. That's what makes it the Swiss Army knife. You can use it in every single marketing discipline. For example, in content marketing, Knowing your avatar helps you decide what blog posts, videos, podcasts, lead magnets, etc. you should create to attract more leads and customers. In paid traffic, knowing your avatar helps you discover which ad platforms you should buy traffic from and what targeting options you should use. In copywriting, knowing your avatar helps you describe your offers in a way that speaks to your avatar's problems and compels them to want to buy. In email marketing, knowing your avatar helps you get more open rates and better conversion rates on your emails, and can even be used to segment specific email marketing campaigns to different avatars. Any part of the marketing and sales process that touches the customer, which is pretty much everything, will improve when you get clear on your customer avatar. When you get clear on the characteristics of the person who is going to buy your products and services, it's a lot easier to find and present them with a message that moves them to action. All right, there we have it. Now you know what a customer avatar is and why you need one for each of the marketing disciplines. Tomorrow we'll get started by putting the customer avatar into action using one of our core avatars here at Digital Marketer. Don't miss it.